In part 3, you'll mesh the full model by extending the mesh controls to include the modified geometry using the named selections you created earlier. Update the multi-zone to be scoped to all bodies. Update the named selections to include the appropriate geometry. Choose one of the sectors and then hide all other bodies. To set the match control for high and low, select the faces on the sector model and then apply the geometry for the named selections. Use Extend to Instances to apply the geometry to all fins. The mapped mesh control and edge sizing controls are more difficult since they need to include both the hub geometry and the instance geometry. Hide all bodies except for the hub. Select a face on the hub and then extend to limits. Apply the selection to the geometry for the named selection and then rename mapped to mapped hub. Next, Hide the hub and select a face along the sectors, and then extend to instances. Create a new name selection called Mapped Sectors. Right-click on Mapped Hub and Mapped Sectors, and choose Merge Selected Name Selections to combine them into a new named selection, Mapped. Hide all bodies except for the hub, select the circular edge on the hub, and then extend to Limits. Apply the selection to the geometry for the named selection and then rename Circum Edges to Circum Edges Hub. Next, hide the hub and select an edge along the sectors and then extend to instances. Create a new named selection called Circum Edges Sectors. Right-click on Circum Edges Hub and Circum Edges Sectors and choose Merge Selected Name Selections to combine them into a new named selection, Circum Edges. Hide all bodies except for the hub. To avoid selecting vertical edges individually, change the model to wireframe mode and then use Box Select from right to left, avoiding the edges of the internal holes, to quickly select all vertical edges that you intersect. Apply the selection to the geometry for the named selection, and then rename Vert Edges to Vert Edges Hub. Next, hide the hub and select an edge along the sectors, and then extend to instances. Create a new named selection called Vert Edges Sectors. Right-click on Vert Edges Hub and Vert Edges Sectors and choose Merge Selected Named Selections to combine them into a named selection, Vert Edges. Update the sizing and face meshing controls to Circum Edges, Vert Edges, and Mapped. Generate Mesh, and you'll see two parts are meshed. This indicates that instancing is being used. The hub and one of the sectors are the parts. After the sector is meshed, the mesh is copied to the other sectors. If more than two parts are meshed, something is not instanced properly. Upon inspection, the left and right sector sides should align from the match control, and the hub and rotor mesh should align from the hard edge sizing and mapped mesh controls. The mesh is not yet conformal, however. To get a conformal mesh, insert a node merge group on the mesh. Set tolerance value to 0.001 mm. Click Generate to run the node merge. Make a note of the number of merged nodes. With mesh selected, select Edge Coloring and choose By Body Connection to view the merged nodes.
create a named selection for shared nodes. The right and left nodes seemed to align properly, so the match control worked. But the nodes in the area of the mapped control don't look right. The problem is visible on the surface mesh, where the same number of nodes have the same mapped pattern, but a slightly different mesh. In the first node merge operation, you used 0.001 millimeters to merge nodes, but that was too conservative. Increase the tolerance closer to the mesh size. 0.1 millimeters is 10 times smaller than the mesh size, which should allow the software to merge out the problems without merging nodes it shouldn't. After making this change and regenerating the node merge, you can see a greater number of nodes have been merged. You can validate this by looking at the color by body connection and the create name selections for shared nodes. This completes part three of this tutorial. Congratulations, you now have a conformal mesh for the entire brake rotor. Thank you.